Teams work for a third day to recover the body of an eight year old boy. And good afternoon, I'm Liz Bonus. Recovery crews are back at it today along the Great Miami River. They've been trying to find eight-year-old Brian Morales since Monday. Our local 12's Rich Jaffe joins us now live with the very latest. Rich, I know you've been covering this. What can you tell us? Good afternoon. Hi, Liz. It's been another difficult and dangerous day for the recovery crews working on both the Whitewater and the Great Miami Rivers. After a major setback yesterday, in their efforts to find the body of Brian Morales. They got back at it late this morning. Urban search and rescue teams headed out to the US 50 bridge across the Whitewater late this morning. They were rigging the bridge so that they could lower equipment and dive gear down to Boone County water rescue boats and their dive team. Late yesterday, an airboat from Fairfield capsized, loaded with dive gear and dive team members from Hamilton County. It's in the highlighted area on your screen. They were headed to a whirlpool on the Great Miami where they think the dive team may be able to find the body of eight-year-old Brian Morales. The little boy disappeared Monday afternoon while fishing with family members in the river. The loss of the dive gear set this whole recovery operation back about a day. Uh, we're dealing with uh, a different type of boat, if you will. So we're we're running into some issues where the, the water's too shallow for those boats to pass, so they're having to get out, push the boat a little bit, get back in the boat, and then transverse. Uh, the nice thing about the airboat yesterday was it, it, it'll, it'll run on this blacktop if we need it to, but uh, we're, we're don't, unfortunately we don't have that, that tool anymore. Now, without that tool, as the chief said, it's been another day of starting almost from square one. They have a pretty good indication that there is something of interest at that point in the river, and they are out there right now actively trying to figure out exactly what it is and if they can safely put divers into that area to figure it out tangibly. They will actually go down there if it's deemed safe enough, and they will put their hands on whatever that object is, and if appropriate, they will bring it back up. We will be standing by live here and bring you the latest when it changes out here. In North Bend, Rich Jaffe, Local 12 News. Liz? Great. We will check back with you as you learn more. Thank you very much, Rich. And stay with us here at Local 12. We will stay on top of this, as Rich mentioned, in this search effort and bring you new information just as it happens.